Hi, I am Matic and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, a subscriber messaged me on my social media account and asked me that why am I not discussing any Filipino films on my YouTube channel since I am a Filipino? Well, for today's video, I am going to answer that question and I am going to share with you guys my take on Filipino films and do I really love it or do I hate those types of films. But for before that, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you will be updated to my latest videos. So let's get started. <laughs> When I was a child, up until high school, my family really loves to watch action films. From Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jackie Chan, to Sylvester Stallone, and Jean-Claude Van Damme, their works are my earliest exposure in watching films. Now, if you watch my first personal vlog, you will know that Forrest Gump is the first movie that really unleashed my aspiration to become a filmmaker because of its impeccable cinematic experience. So going back to Filipino films, I also had an opportunity to explore them and I have a few favorites. Jose Rizal starring Cesar Montano is a Filipino film that offers extensive knowledge about our Filipino national hero and has an amazing script and acting performances. Decada Setenta, starring Vilma Santos, is a Filipino movie that explores the Philippines during the 70s and I don't want to sound political about it but the overall cinematic appeal is really amazing. One More Try, starring John Lloyd Cruz and Bea Alonso, is a Filipino film that you can watch if you love to watch a straight-up romantic movie. This film is perfect for lovers or for hopeless romantic people. <laughs> Private Benjamin, starring Vice Ganda. Uh, if you want to watch a Filipino film that has good comedic timing and provides simple and not so cheesy com comedy scenes, uh, this movie is perfect. I mean, Vice Ganda really gives an impeccable comedy performance and I must say that this is one of his best movie. And then The Healing starring Vilma Santos again. I love Vilma Santos. Uh, it's a good horror mo movie that has a very unique and has a very good storyline, cinematography, and concept. Of course, there are some other movies you can watch as well. So here are the other Filipino movies that I also love. You can watch them as well. Now, do I love watching Filipino films? Well, first of all, I do love watching Filipino films. I mean, as a Filipino, it's really important to watch and support these films. However, not all Filipino films are great. For me, number one, incorporating foreign elements such as using the title of an old Hollywood movie or imitating a specific Hollywood actor just to make the movie trendy is not a good thing. What I mean is some Filipino movies are using other foreign movies elements and concepts just to cater to a specific target audience. Number two, what about adaptation? Well, it's good. I mean some other countries also do this, right? However, what's the point of adapting a film if we can produce our own concepts and stories? Number three, how about the never-ending rom-com and love themes movies? Are we not tired of having the same formula all over again? I'm not saying that these movies are bad, but it's frustrating as a moviegoer if all of the movies available at the theater have the same concepts. Look at the movies produced in Europe. They provide a variety of genres and the storylines are both refreshing and unique. 
Number four, and my last take on Filipino films, is the visual effects. Um, I don't want to explain more about the visual effects in the Philippine cinema because it's a bit disappointing that other countries have surpassed the quality of our visual effects. And not just in the movies, but also in some, or I mean all of our TV series. Now, where do we go from here? I hope that someday the Philippine entertainment industry will step it up to produce quality Filipino movies. I think we just need to find our own identity. We don't need to copy other countries. I mean, think about Korea. Parasite won Best Picture at the Academy Awards. No Filipino film has ever been nominated at the Oscars. So I hope one day, when I watch the Oscars, a Filipino movie is being recognized. For more of my videos, don't forget to hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you will be updated to my latest videos. I am Matik and thank you for watching. Bye-bye!